Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. This is the 1956 uh, Volkswagen Oval Rear Window Beetle. Um, in an earlier video, uh, we share with you a couple of um, a couple of short videos on the front section. Uh, one, we showed you uh, the old original apron uh, to this new apron, and then all of the new panels, like the lower uh, spare tire tray. Uh, we had the new one and shared with you where we had like the rain gutter um, homemade guy and we compared the two. Um, and then the video after that, the most recent for the front, is where I share with you these two front panels. Uh, basically the front nose section before the fender and the apron go on. And it's this uh, different colored primer. You can see it's this orangey red color. Um, so, um, in a previous video we shared with you, basically it's from here to the front um, on both driver and passenger side. So these are an aftermarket panel which fit fairly well, but it still required quite a bit of fabrication um, and notching and cutting uh, to make it fit uh, the original inside fender flare and the underside or the backside of the front fenders. Um, so basically what we did is we had to dry fit everything on, um, make quite a few adjustments and modifications to it to make sure that it fits the line correctly. Um, and then we, we basically bolted, these are the original fenders which need quite a bit of love, um, but we wanted to use those for the original guidelines uh, for the fit and finish. Uh, before we got into uh, any of the crazy welding. So uh, you can see now it's coming together quite nicely. Um, we'll share with you um, uh, soon. Uh, we'll have these fenders off and we'll show you how nice it looks on the underside. Uh, we wanted to kind of give our client um, the, uh, the overall look of how well everything fits um, and how things line up. So you can see the bottom of the apron to the fenders on both sides. Uh, these are just dry fitted in briefly, but you can see um, these are excessively rusted. Uh, the pots have had lots of repair. You can see where there's separation, where it's just basically pulling apart or pulling away. Uh, we may consider uh, replacing these front fenders. Uh, we're going to see if we can find a nice supplier. Um, they never have these uh, pocket for the markers, uh, but we, we know of a supplier that provides these. So I think one of the options we're going to probably look at is replacing these fenders. They're, uh, they're pretty far gone. You can see on this side uh, we've got quite a bit of corrosion and rot, but we've got lots of pinholes uh, that are rotted through. Um, I think the camera can probably pick it up. So as we, uh, we strip this and sand this down, it's probably going to expose some more uh, weak points in the metal. So um, we'll, we'll discuss it with our client to see which he would rather go with when it comes to the front fenders. But in terms of the nose section, it's coming along really well. Um, so you can see in this section here, we basically had to modify, and it's very common to take an aftermarket panel and modify it to fit our application. So you can see basically where we have the shiny metal, this triangular piece that's welded and ground smooth, um, that was a piece that we had to weld in. So when we're working it and heating it to shape and hammer and dolly to match the original metal of the car, um, it didn't have this bend uh, or the shape it required. So then we had to notch it and modify it to fit. And then that triangular piece is actually a piece of metal that we've made here, uh, put it through our English wheel, and then uh, welded it in so it all becomes an original look. Uh, same thing if we look at the passenger side um, in the inner section, you can see the same thing. We still have some grinding to do, but you can see where we had to modify things, uh, basically cut pie-shaped uh, sections and then uh, weld new pieces in and then obviously modify it here also. Uh, so later on, after we finish the grinding and cleaning, and we do the smoothing process, no one will ever know um, the level of, of fabrication or modification that had to take place to make all of the cosmetic stuff look nice. So um, just a brief update, you can see the inside tray, there's still quite a bit of work to do where we have a uh, rod out from where the, um, the reservoir for the fluid uh, sits. We still have to make pieces like there 
um, and then up into here where the speedo cable comes through. We haven't done that yet. But we wanted to do the bulk of the front nose, the inner fenders, uh, the inner and outer front and rear aprons and the tray because once we have this step done, uh, we know that everything is lined up properly. Um, coming up soon, we're going to square up the body with tubing, make sure we have everything square because we've got quite a bit of work to do. We'll be removing the front firewall. Uh, we'll also be removing the rotted out heater channels and uh, quite a bit of work in the lower storage tray. Um, but at this point, I'm very happy with the way everything is fitting um, and coming along and lining up quite nicely. So just a brief update, this is the 1956 uh, Volkswagen Beetle, the oval rear window. Um, and I'm John, I thank you for watching from lastchanceautorestore.com.